Helldivers, we just found out that a new Warbond, Cutting Edge, is deploying to the battlefield on March 14th. Here's the interesting thing. A lot of the leaks we talked about right here on the channel were accurate, but now we've got official confirmation of what players can expect when the Warbond goes live. Now, it's important to start with this. If you're freaking out a bit because you haven't completed your other Warbonds, don't worry, because Helldivers Mobilize and Steeled Veterans isn't going anywhere. The Helldivers team said they would never expire war bonds, which means you can keep investing in the old gear while simultaneously investing in the new stuff. And oh baby, there is some exciting new stuff to talk about. The whole theme of this war bond cutting edge is experimental weapons and armor, and according to the lore, the Brainiacs in Super Earth R&D are looking for some of this gear to be field tested, and that's where we come in. All right, so let's talk tech. What can we actually expect to get our hands on? First are a few armor sets, and while we don't have stats and perks quite yet, we get a little background on each new set. The EX-03 Prototype 3 includes a rubber underlay for insulation. Handy, as this prototype wires operates at a shocking 400,000 volts. Next is the EX-16 Prototype 16, which comes with a warning. Electric arc generates a strong magnetic field. Avoid use while near stapled paperwork. Finally, there's the EX-00 Prototype X, the end result of several billion super credits and 12 years of research into creating the Soldier of Tomorrow. I'm really curious what each set will bring to the table, and if I were to speculate, it sounds like the EX-03 and the EX-16 will have some sort of thorns effect that deal damage to enemies when the player is struck. I'm also interested in that magnetic effect of the EX-16. As for the EX-00, I have no idea what being a soldier of tomorrow means in a Helldivers 2 context, but I am excited to find out. Cutting Edge will also feature a number of new weapons, including the LAS-16 Sickle, a laser rifle that fires in short bursts. It doesn't need reloading, but players will have to watch out for overheating, or it'll require a new heatsink, just like the laser cannon. Next is the SG-8P Punisher Plasma, which features exploding plasma rounds, which are deadly to both aliens and allies. I genuinely cannot wait to get my hands on this weapon because it's so different than any other gun currently in the game. The final new primary weapon is the ARC-12 Blitzer, which projects an arc of close-range lightning. Players can also charge it up to fire off powerful bolts, which are good at taking out multiple enemies. There's also a new grenade, the G-23 Stun, which we can safely assume is going to disorient enemies for a short period of time, as well as the LAS-7 Dagger Pistol, an energy-based laser weapon. I'm hopeful this changes up the dynamic in the secondary weapon space because our current offerings aren't great. Having a secondary with no real ammo restrictions could prove to be really useful, but it'll all come down to how it performs in combat. The team also showcased three new capes, which as you know, don't provide any gameplay benefits, but are certainly part of the all-important Helldivers drip. What is still yet to be revealed are mechs, but there's a lot of news on that front as well. As of this morning, March 7th, a Twitter post went live showing the exosuit facilities on Tian Quan were under attack by the automatons. A new major order has come down for players to liberate the planet, thus getting production of the Exo 45 Patriot back on track. My hunch is that the timing is going to work out perfectly so that the cutting edge war bond and the planet are liberated at roughly the same time. After a rough week of community backlash, it makes a lot of sense to inject something new into the game and try and turn that corner. I've said it a few times now, and I will say it again. This is just the beginning of the Helldivers 2 experience. We're just getting off the starting blocks, and as a live service game, we should expect things to change on a regular basis. I, for one, cannot wait for a new Warbond, because I'm hopeful that some of those new weapons could potentially tip the scales back in favor of the Helldivers that are still looking for options on the battlefield. Anyways, friends, let me know what you think of the Cutting Edge Warbond. What stands out to you the most, and what do you think of the weapons and armor the team is revealing? Leave us a comment down below, hit that thumbs up if you liked the video, and as always, my name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching, and play on.